Back in April, Andy made the decision to leave his home country and fight in the war on behalf of Ukraine. Andy understood this decision could cost him his life, but he felt compelled to stand up for the innocent lives that were at risk. Despite all he's endured, Andy has zero regrets on leaving, and he says his faith is what got him through. Uh, I did expect the possibly to die. It's a bone chilling reality for Andy, one that came with sacrificing his freedom in hopes that he could help free the citizens of Ukraine. Andy was captured on June 9th. For 104 days, Andy went without speaking to any friends or family members back home, which includes his fiance, Joy Black. It was during a near-death experience in which Andy could recall missing his soon-to-be wife. When I was being engaged uh, and I was hiding inside a hole, um, the first thought I remember was Joy. And usually during a, from, from what I've heard, a life or death experience, they say either your life flashes before your eyes or you see the most important person. For me, it was her. Andy says he thought about Joy a lot, but thinking about her too much ruined his mood because he wasn't back home with her and says one day in particular was the toughest of them all. I would say probably the worst day for me was August 16th, was that's our anniversary. And that was the more harder day for me. I was pretty quiet in, in that day. But no matter how impossible the days may have gotten for Andy, he relied on faith in newly found friendships. Through God, through prayer, um, there were a couple of times where uh, I did get down and under. Um, fortunately, with also friends, Alexander helped me a lot through that. Uh, the other prisoners also helped us through that. But now Andy has returned home, and returning with his fiance has him feeling happy again. I was full of joy. I was happy, like, no pun intended, but... <laughs> or pun intended, yeah. depending on how you take it. <laughs> now, Andy says although he's happy to be back, he still wants to help out the people of Ukraine, and he will figure out his next steps throughout the incoming days. However, he was clear that he will not be doing so fighting in the battlefield. In studio, Xavier Wary with 31 News.